In today's video, we are going to talk about breakpoints in Frema, and I'm going to show you exactly how I set up my projects to ensure every website I build in Frema is responsive across various screen sizes and multiple breakpoints. Okay, let's go. All right, so I have a blank canvas here or a new project, and I'm going to use that to demonstrate the breakpoints. Right, so once you've started a new project, by default, Frema creates this breakpoint for you, which is a 1200 breakpoint, right, in width, in terms of width. And if you want to add more breakpoints, you can by coming here to this top right corner with next to the plus that says breakpoints. Click on the plus, and then you see these three options. So there's a tablet option, there's a phone option, and also there's a custom option. Right, so the tablet is basically a tablet breakpoint. The phone is um, a phone breakpoint. Right, but to demonstrate this properly, I'm just going to add one of Framer's page templates so you can see this breakpoint in action. So let me just add this one. Great. So once you add the template, it automatically generates the two other breakpoints for you. Right. So yeah, if you want to add a custom breakpoint, so for example, maybe I want to add um, a 1920 breakpoint. I click on this plus and because I've already created the tablet and phone breakpoints, it just gives me the custom now. So I click on the custom, I name it. So I want to name it the OG. Because <laughs> 1920, for those who know, is really, at least what I like to call the OG desktop breakpoint. Um, yeah, I call it the OG and tap my breakpoint in width and just click on add and you see it adds it and yeah it automatically adapts um the other breakpoints to fit this one right so in some of the previous videos or in all the previous videos i spoke about stacks a lot and stacks are what you are going to need if you want to make your website responsive so you really need to pay attention to stacks because it makes it easier to make um, other breakpoints and make them responsive if you use stacks in your workflow great so one other key thing to know about breakpoints is that if you need to make a change you have to or if you need to make a change that you want to reflect or cut across the other breakpoints you have to do it in the main breakpoint so for example i want to change this landing page from the yeah, other text to let's just say um landing screen Right, you see as I made the changes, it reflects across. Right, it's mainly because this one, this 1200 one is the parent screen. Right, but if I go make the change and this, for example, this new one that we made and see I'm reverting it back to landing page. You realize it just changes, changes it in this breakpoint without affecting the other breakpoints. So that's one crucial thing to know. Anytime you want to make a change, that you want to cut across every other screen size or breakpoints, you make it in the parent breakpoints. But if you want to make a change that you only need, if for example, mobile, right, you should only make it in that specific breakpoint. Fantastic. So then that's like a quick summary on breakpoints, what they are about, and how you can create them, right? So in most cases, these defaults breakpoints that Frema provides works but then what i have found out is that in certain instances and depending on how complex your layout is these might not be very scalable across certain devices um yeah i've seen that certain websites that have been built in Frema that did not look very well on my device or my iphone when i viewed it on there so what i typically do is that instead of using three these three default breakpoints, I tend to create my own. So this is the Design Junkies website. And as you can see, I have six breakpoints. The only breakpoints that are the defaults that Framer provides are these two, these last two, which is a tablet mini and a phone, as I've named them. So let's begin from the stats. Again, the OG breakpoint is a 1920. That's what I always start with. Uh, what that me, um, does for me is that my websites or any websites I built in Frema will be very scalable across like very like wide screens or large screens. 
that's what this breakpoint does for me and that's why i always start with it right and then the second one is a laptop so the laptop yeah it basically works in a lot of laptops screen sizes because a lot of them are small a lot of them are not very wide right so this screen size cuts across a lot of those use cases so the first one is wide this is like not so wide almost like a laptop screen size and this one is 1440 in width the next one is the tablet which i call the 12.9 inch for yeah the ipad m1 so this is a landscape and that is the width for that is 1366 so that is the 12.9 inch tablets in landscape right and then i also go a step further to create another break point for when that tablet is in portrait mode right so that's the break point for that is 1024 right and next is the tablet mini which is the default tablet break point frame up provides and yeah that works for a lot of the smaller tablets that are not very large and then the final one is the standard mobile um, size yeah. so yeah these breakpoints i've come to realize they are very scalable and i've never come across a single breakpoint when i viewed it on road devices where the layout is not looking as i want it to right so these big points just give me a lot of control over how any website i built in framer looks so i don't leave anything to chance so i don't leave anything to the mercy of whichever browser is rendering it or whichever resolution you are viewing the website for let me show you a quick example of how this can come in handy when you are building websites. So I, this is Junkyard. So in the process leading up to the early launch of Junkyard, we came up with this marketing um, promo stuff, right? Which basically is a jigsaw. So we required people to assemble this jigsaw image and then take a screenshot of whatever image we were able to create all right so let me just assemble that real quick and then i'll walk you through why this works if you need me to drop a tutorial on how you can make this in framer just let me know as usual and i'll be happy to um yeah this goes here uh this goes here uh, this goes here this goes here. Great. Yeah, so this is like a rough image. It's basically joined the Junkie Week list, right? So yeah, I mean, I designed this. Uh, I did it for every breakpoint except the mobile because I realized the mobile breakpoints, uh, the experience on creating this jigsaw on mobile wasn't going to be very good. So I just did not want to risk it. So I just made a simple text uh, with some buttons on the mobile. So that's the power of the breakpoints. The breakpoints allow you to set uh, custom experiences for each device or each breakpoint as you wish. So like the, it's only limited by your creativity really. You can do whatever it is you want. You can do really whatever it is you want. You can basically have a different website for every breakpoint if you wish. I'm not too sure about the drawbacks or the trade-offs on that one, but again, you can just try it out and then let me know. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, as always, if you have any other thing you want me to cover in Framer, feel free to drop it in the comment section. I'll be, I'll respond and I'll touch on it in one of my upcoming videos. But as always, if you found value in this video, please leave a like, uh, comment and share the video to someone all my find is useful. Until then, catch you guys next time.